Deadpool is a zombie survival game that was just released on Steam as an early access game. As such, any tips in this video are subject to change. Enjoy! Welcome to my top 10 beginner tips for helping you stay alive in Dead Poly Zombie Survival. While some skills will be learned naturally, such as cutting wood from trees or stones from rocks, others will take a little bit of trial and error. Tip 1. Read the rules. Now this may seem obvious, but please read the tip section on the main menu. It's there for a reason. On top of this, do the tutorial. Just do it. There may be many simple skills to learn, and you can do this in a safe environment, such as getting your first zombie kill. How to heal yourself, how to load a gun, and most importantly, how to use the crafting table. Note here that the crafting table in the tutorial is either incomplete or bugged. It's unlike the other tutorials, this one never gets completed or disappears. So once you know how to build something, feel free to leave and complete the tutorial. Tip 2. Find a base. The day and night cycle of Deadpool are quite long, lasting approximately one hour. There's ten minutes of dawn, followed by half an hour of daytime, followed by another 10 minutes of dusk, and finally, 10 minutes of night time, roughly 5 minutes of which is completely black, and you will not be able to see anything if you don't have electricity or a flashlight. The map is massive and you can make a base literally anywhere, but it's probably best to choose an established building as opposed to building a small house, as construction is limited at the moment, which means you can live in a trailer park on the far side of the city, or out in the central hub, such as in an apartment building or even a shop. In this tutorial I've set myself up in a local motel. Tip 3. Find a big backpack. Bigger doesn't always mean better, but here it does. With backpacks, not all backpacks are created equally. Some are simply bigger than others. And while the look might suit you, it's best to go with the biggest backpack you can find. Tip 4. Equip items to your hotbar. Equip food and medicine to your hotbar. This can be useful to save you on a tight spot, or it can just save time from hunting around in your bags when you're, they're full of inventory. And bonus tip. Remember the tips from the main menu? Specifically this one. Well, use that to your advantage, and see what the best item is to equip to your hotbar. And pay special attention to their use durations. Some things activate quicker than others. Tip 5. Learn to kill zombies. Killing zombies is as simple as walking up to them and hitting them. While it is better to go for a headshot, it's not exactly something that can be controlled. There are currently three unique zombies, ignoring any bosses. You have your standard zombies who walk at you and want to eat your brains. Then you also have runners and your grounders. Runners are especially scary, as they will come at you quite quickly if you're not prepared. While grounders are a bit slower, they can be deadly if you don't know how to deal with them. But it's not too hard. Just crouch down so you're at their level, and then give them a bonk on the head. Fighting zombies on hills can be quite difficult. Tip 6. Collect everything. Collect everything. It's not called a looter for nothing. Everything spawns and despawns, so every time you go out there could be something different. When it's a new day, remember to check the places you've already been. Oh, and don't try and stash anything in a dumpster so you can get it later. Even items you've moved will disappear. I'll be releasing farming guides later, so stay tuned for that. Tip 7. Get a ton of storage. Finding storage is very important, but you have to know to claim ownership of storage, you have to pick up the item in your inventory and then place it into the world. Doing this links it to you and stops anything inside from despawning. Side note. When you first make your crafting table, it might seem broken at first, but lack storage, you have to pick it up in your inventory and then place it again to get the open option so you can start crafting. Make sure to do this first so you don't get confused, and prepare to find a big backpack so you can actually fit your crafting table and use it from the beginning. Tip 8. Learn the crafting system. There are many items that allow you to create extras that aren't possible on the crafting table alone. Just make sure to read the materials list and place those materials inside the table inventory. I'm currently working on a few guides such as how to create bullets, so subscribe if you want to see that. Tip 9. Beware of sounds. This may seem obvious to some, but every game is different. In Dead Poly, sounds attract zombies, so know that crouching will make your steps quieter while running to make them louder. And this means you want to stay quiet while farming your loot. And be careful with guns. Guns may have a lot more power and help you stay at a distance, but they definitely attract a lot more zombies too. So um, yeah, don't be like me. Finally number 10. Decorate your base. Well some items like doors and barricades may be important, plants and collectibles help take your base apart from the rest of the world. So why not make your base interesting? This is just a quick list of my 10 best tips I learnt while playing. If I missed something you think is important, feel free to put it in the comments below. And if you can, leave a like and consider subscribing as I'll release more content like this. Maybe even show you around my world. If you're still here or think this game looks interesting, consider clicking on one of these videos. So you can learn something else to help you survive in Dead Poly Zombie Survival.